base collectible spot, we are having a look at the Dragon Models Action Hero Vignette, The Avengers Age of Ultron, Iron Man Mark 43. Indicated down below, this is an Iron Man Mark 43 multi-pose version, and this comes to us from the folks over at Dragon Models. Dragon model Models, I should say, are a high-end uh, statue company uh, specializing in smaller, scaled action models, or action statues. Uh, they've done a whole slew of new Avengers Age of Ultron statues and definitely pieces I wanted to have a look at. The box itself is as impressive as the statue is going to be inside. Uh, featured on the front is the Iron Man Mark 43 suit. We got one, it's a one ninth scale action hero vignette. We'll spin around the side of the box there. We got Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron once again with another great image of Iron Man. And on the back, we've got Avengers. Now, the thing about the dragon statues, too, is that there is a magnetized flap. There's magnets right on either side there. And you can open this right up. And opening it right up will show you what the Iron Man is going to look like. He, yes, is comprised of pieces, so you do have to put him together. And he also comes with a Iron Man statue, or stand for the, the statue. So I'm really excited, actually, to get this guy put together. Uh, without further ado, Spot's going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and get it put together. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Dragon Avengers Age of Ultron Iron Man Mark 43 posable statue. There's more Henny Way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Just before we actually put together the Iron Man Mark 43, I just want to show you the contents that you get when you open up the box. You get yourself the display stand, which will light up. And in order to do that, you have to add three AA batteries. I'll go ahead and add those. You also get yourself an instruction guide, basically just showing you how to put together the pieces for Iron Man. And then you get the components for Iron Man. You get yourself a torso, get a couple of arms, a couple of boots, the legs, and the head. You also get a couple of these little flat pieces too, which go to the side of the the. Uh, torso section here and again I'll show you that when we get it all put together so again we'll just get all these parts we'll put them together and we will get a piece that looks like this now just before we have a look at Iron Man which very impressed with the piece itself we'll just put just put Iron Man right there for a second I just want to actually show you the display stand once again just put Iron Man there uh, showing you want to show you the display stand again once again this is a, uh, a nice gray painted piece, a little bit of weathering that they've put along the top there and along the grate as well. When we flip it upside down, there's an on and off switch. We switch it to on. This section here will light up. It's not a bright light, mind you, but it's pretty good for the aesthetics of the base. You don't want to have anything too bright. It gives it a more realistic approach where it's a more muted light. And as you can see, it lights up completely around the diameter of the base. It's a really nice touch, especially when you, imagining if you put these pieces in your display cabinet, which is exactly where they're going to end up going. Uh, having these in a display cabinet and then having Iron Man on a stand lit up is going to be a great looking effect. So let's touch base on Iron Man. Uh, assembly, again, required only me to put the legs, snap the legs into the ball sockets that were residing at the bottom of the torso. Uh, ball joints on the sides of the torso to put the arms in. Same with the head, and then the boots just snapped on below. The little plates on the sides are just to kind of finish up the rest of the torso uh, once you put the leg in, because this area here kind of just fills in all the little crack and uh, little gap areas. You would be correct. You would be correct. The piece is articulated. It's not super articulated, mind you. It does have articulation in the head, a nice ball joint in the section of his head area. His ball, sex, uh, ball joints in his arms. He does have hinges in his elbows. Now, I will stress this. Uh, I will stress it with th these particular pieces. These are high-end collectibles, high-end statue pieces. So when you do move components, you might feel that they are a little more on the fragile end of it. 
and you know again don't force it too much uh, areas such as the leg look like they are hinged there is a hinge point on the back of the leg but it is a stiff movement so i'm for the sake of it i'm just going to be leaving the the knee articulation uh, kind of just alone for the time being uh, though it is again an articulated piece the cell of these pieces is the sheer sculpt and color absolutely gorgeous my new favorite armor actually is the Mark 43. I love the the 42 kind of grew on me after a while. I didn't initially like it, but there's something about that Mark 43 I really like. That cranberry red shows so well with the silver, the gold color there as well. It still stays very true to the design of uh, Iron Man here, but gives us a very neat new update to it. Uh, because it is articulated, it kind of is an in-between realm of a high-end collectible like maquette or statue and a figure. Now this is not again something that you're going to be wanting to pose a lot of. Again you can kind of move the legs forward and you can move them out but uh, they will you know they will have a little bit of resistance just because they are a more uh, fragile piece. There's the back of them as well. Uh, Dragon Models have produced a whole slew of Avengers piece statue pieces and uh, I'm going to be having a look at uh, a few of them over the next course of videos. Uh, I'm very, very impressed with the piece. There are, oops, and you'll find a lot of pieces will just kind of pop off, but that's fine. Again, it's a statue that you're putting together. This will just tab into the top section here and it actually clips into place and it, it it's intended to move actually when you move the arm so the shoulder area actually kind of just gets out of the way but uh, it is definitely an in-between uh, market it's a high-end uh, figure treatment but it's on more on par with like the maquette statues you while you can pose Iron Man it's the kind of figure that it's the kind of statued figure I would say that you would want to just get in a good display pose like that and just kind of admire it from a distance. It's just a fantastic, fantastic piece. Super detailed. It does have articulation, but the draw for me is more so the fact that this is a display piece and not something I'm gonna be posing and doing a lot of things with. While it does have you know elbow articulation and it has wrist articulation, even to some degree it has the uh, upper torso articulation. It's the kind of piece that you really want to just admire for the sheer beauty of uh, of a maquette, or in this case, uh, of the, uh, the the statued piece here of the Iron Man Mark 43. Uh, if you guys are interested in picking up one of these pieces for yourself, and I certainly don't blame you, I'm going to provide a couple of links down below of places that are carrying the Dragon models. Uh, some comic book stores actually that I've been in as well have carried some of the older Dragon models and uh, you could also ask them too if they could probably order these guys in for you as well. Uh, from the standpoint of, well, a, a standing maquette, standing statue here, I mean it's a very high detailed piece and exceptionally impressive to be putting on a display shelf. Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Dragon Models Avengers Age of Ultron, the Iron Man Mark 43 statue. And technically, it is a poseable statue. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots on your way. We are also going to be having a look at a couple more of these beautiful pieces as well. So stay tuned for those videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.